Hello. I know a lot of you have been thinking I've been snoozing on my ink plugin, but I've been, well, actually, no, I have kind of been snoozing on my ink plugin, but uh, I've just been busy doing other stuff um, that I couldn't push back. But I have been doing a chunk of work on it over time, and recently I did a, a bunch of updates that I want you guys to see. So let's have a look at um, the latest updates here that, uh, that aren't live yet, but they're working towards them probably another week before it's out in beta and then uh, and then on from there. So let's have a look at the screen here. I've got, I've been working on the new embed format and we've got version one here and version two here because they're both working in the plugin that I'm using, in the version that I'm using. So uh, they're gonna both stay on for a little bit even once it comes out to you guys just so that um, as you convert your embed formats, it keeps working. But if we look at the old versions and look at this writing embed, um, if I press down on the cursor, I'll see it's a code block and it's got a bunch of settings in there and when your cursor isn't in it, it shows as a code block. Same with drawing embeds. And what that also means is if we look at quotes, uh, I think they're called callouts and something else that I can't remember the name of. Um, it doesn't work within those. So I can't put a code embed inside a callout and have it still work in the same way. Or at least not that I've figured out, but I'm not gonna continue on it because uh, this is the old format. So let's have a look at the new format. Embed version two still looks exactly the same. There's some things I have to tweak, but if I put my cursor down, it never actually enters it. It's, it's no longer a, a text editable thing. Of course, when you go to uh, view source mode, um, it will be able to show it. It doesn't at the moment, but it will be able to. Other than that, when you click on it, it works the same way. These buttons will need to float up the top or, or to align fully, but um, it works the same way. Drawing embeds, similar. It works the same way, um, but it's one atomic block, so you can't actually click into it. Uh, if we look at quotes now, what that means is I've done it in such a way that it can exist inside a quote section or a call out section. So that's an immediate advantage. Um, and common columns, I haven't put an example here yet, but it should work within columns. I haven't tested it yet. And if it doesn't, I'll refine that over time to make sure it, it, it does. Um, okay, so let's have a look at what else this does. What is the new format? Well, if I open this file, open in default app, and let's see where that appears, down here. And we look at that. You'll see these two embeds here, rather than being a code block, they're actually a, a specific link. Um, and you'll see here that they're actually linked to an SVG file. So remember if we go up, and same here, SVG. Remember if we go up to the ink embeds and we look at writing and we look at drawing, the old ones are all drawings or writings. They're dot drawing or dot writing. But the new ones are SVG. So if I click on that, it just shows like a normal SVG. However, if I open that in its default app, yes, that works. And I look at that, you've got a normal SVG. That's everything there. But what you also have is inside the SVG, you have a metadata section, which says, this is an ink drawing. And here are all the settings for editing the drink ink drawing. So all the settings are inside the SVG, which means in any other program, um, and if you don't have the plugin installed, it just shows as an SVG, but it's not editable. But if you have it installed, then it becomes editable. Okay, so what else does that mean? So the reason this embed thing is so important is because it, it enables a bunch of other things. Now that I have SVGs, every 
item has a specific image that I can really easily link to. So if I go to this work in progress area and I add a new thing, so I'm going to go control P and I'll go drawing and you'll see we've got the new drawings and we've got the legacy ones, the new format and the legacy ones. So I'm going to go existing drawing legacy and what I get is a menu of file names which isn't very helpful obviously. So instead if I go drawing and I go existing drawing the new version it actually just gives me a modal that shows all of my SVGs and I can pick one and it goes straight in. Same is true with writing uh, if I spell it correctly, uh, existing handwriting selection section, and I can pick from those. Now this will get better over time. Um, previously, we've had to copy uh, writing if we want to duplicate it. But what I'll do instead is when you insert existing writing, it'll actually show you the ones on the page first, so that if you want to duplicate duplicate one of them or reinsert one of them you can then it'll show you ones you've used recently or maybe the other way around and then it'll show you everything else and you'll probably be able to type and search as well once transcripts are in there you'll probably be able to type and search via transcript as well um, but that's it so things are moving um, it's going a little slow, but I've, I've gotten over a big hurdle getting those embeds working uh, and it should be getting pretty close soon. So thank you for joining me for another video and let me know uh, what's important to you and, and what you liked about this one. Cheers.